The United States and China are locked in an ever-increasing rivalry driven by modern geopolitics. At the core of this modern rivalry isn't just a quest for land or resources, it's a race for technological superiority. Where the prize is not just influence but survival, advanced weaponry, once the stuff of science fiction novels, has leaped off the pages and into the arsenals of these two nations, redefining what it means to be a superpower in the 21st century. We're talking ships and submarines that can travel to the end of time, drones that swarm like bees, and hypersonic missiles that can travel at speeds so fast that they make the Concorde look like a paper airplane in comparison. And to add to this mix, the US just unveiled a missile-destroying laser weapon that has the Chinese at the edge of their seats. So, what's this weapon capable of? Well, let's explore this new laser weapon and see what the US has in store for the world. The dawn of the 21st century has ushered in an era marked by rapid technological advancements and shifting global power dynamics. With the United States and China emerging as central figures in a burgeoning military rivalry, this contest is not merely a continuation of the traditional arms race that defined much of the 20th century. It is a fundamentally new phase of competition fueled by breakthroughs in advanced weaponry and changes in the geopolitical landscape. Advanced weaponry, encompassing everything from hypersonic missiles to laser defense systems, are not just about enhancing a country's military capabilities. They are also about securing a strategic advantage in a world where conventional measures of power, such as economic size and diplomatic influence, are increasingly intertwined with technological superiority. Because of this, the race between the US and China to develop and deploy these systems represents not only a quest for military dominance, but also a broader struggle for international influence and the ability to shape the global order. In recent years, China's strides in developing hypersonic missile capabilities have become a focal point in discussions about global security and military technology. The country's advancements in this domain are embodied by three key systems, the DF-17, YJ-21, and DF-27 missiles. These weapons stand as a testament to China's commitment to enhancing its strategic military capabilities and altering the landscape of modern warfare. The DF-17 hypersonic missile represents a significant leap forward in missile technology. It is designed to be highly maneuverable, allowing it to evade existing missile defense systems with relative ease. This capability is bolstered by its impressive speed, exceeding Mach 5, which is over five times the speed of sound. The missile's operational range is equally noteworthy, with the ability to strike targets up to 1,600 miles away, putting a vast swath of potential targets within reach. Its high success rate in tests underscores China's growing proficiency in hypersonic technology, marking the DF-17 as a formidable component of the nation's defense arsenal. Equally striking is the YJ-21, a missile that is on course to become the world's first ship-based hypersonic anti-ship missile. Its development signals a strategic expansion of China's hypersonic capabilities to the naval arena, significantly enhancing the threat to surface ships. The YJ-21 boasts a maximum range of approximately 930 miles and achieves top speeds between Mach 6 and Mach 10. This velocity, combined with the missile's range, presents a severe challenge to maritime assets, potentially redefining naval engagement rules. The YJ-21's development reflects China's intention to secure a formidable deterrent and offensive capability within its maritime sphere. The DF-27 adds a new dimension to China's hypersonic arsenal with its extended range and nuclear capability. It can strike targets between 3,000 to 5,000 miles away, effectively covering vast regions, including East or Southeast Asia and significant portions of the Pacific. This missile's development is particularly concerning due to its potential role in anti-access and area denial strategies, which aim to prevent adversaries from operating in strategic areas, especially in scenarios involving Taiwan or disputes in the South China Sea. The DF-27's ability to carry a nuclear warhead further escalates the stakes, introducing a strategic asset that could alter the balance of power in this region. These missiles, with their unparalleled speeds, extensive ranges, and high success rates, epitomize the cutting edge of military technology. They pose a challenge not only to regional adversaries, but also to global powers, notably the United States, which must contend with the strategic implications of these capabilities. The ability of hypersonic missiles to bypass traditional defense systems forces a reevaluation of existing security doctrines and stimulates the development of new countermeasures. 
In the face of China's rapidly evolving threats, the United States has been forging its path towards securing a technological edge through the development of laser weapon systems. This innovative approach is epitomized by three cutting-edge programs. The Indirect Fire Protection Capability High Energy Laser IFPCH, the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator Shield, and the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance Helios. These systems represent the forefront of the U.S. military's efforts to incorporate directed energy weapons into its arsenal, providing a glimpse into the future of warfare where speed, precision, and adaptability are paramount. The IFPCH system is a groundbreaking initiative to enhance the U.S. Army's capabilities to counter a wide array of aerial threats, including unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs) rockets, artillery, and mortars. What sets the IFPCH apart is its 300-kilowatt high-energy laser, which promises a significant leap in power and efficiency over previous systems. This laser is designed not only to intercept and destroy threats at a fraction of the cost of traditional munitions, but also to operate with a level of precision and speed unattainable by conventional weapons. The integration of the IFPCH into the Army's defensive network signifies a strategic shift towards leveraging advanced technologies to maintain battlefield superiority. Similarly transformative is the SHIELD program, which takes the concept of laser weaponry to the skies. SHIELD aims to equip U.S. Air Force fighter jets with a laser defense system capable of neutralizing incoming missiles and other aerial threats. This program is notable for its collaboration among leading defense contractors, bringing together the expertise required to create a compact, powerful laser system that can be mounted on aircraft without compromising performance. SHIELD's operational benefits extend beyond mere defense. By protecting aircraft in hostile environments, it enables pilots to execute their missions with greater confidence and freedom of movement, fundamentally altering air combat dynamics. The Helios system further exemplifies the U.S. Navy's commitment to incorporating laser technology into its defensive capabilities. Designed to be mounted on naval vessels, Helios combines a high-energy laser with surveillance and dazzler capabilities, offering a multifunctional platform for threat detection, tracking, and neutralization. The system's ability to engage targets at the speed of light and at a minimal operational cost provides a significant advantage in maritime operations, where the ability to respond rapidly to emerging threats can be the difference between safety and disaster. The strategic advantages of integrating these laser systems into the U.S. defense strategy are manifold. Firstly, they offer an unprecedented level of precision and minimal collateral damage, making them ideal for engagements where conventional weapons might be too risky to use. Secondly, the cost-effectiveness of laser weapons, due to their low cost per shot compared to traditional munitions, presents an opportunity to conserve resources while maintaining a high operational tempo. Finally, the psychological impact of fielding such advanced technologies cannot be overstated. The mere presence of laser systems can serve as a deterrent to potential adversaries, reshaping strategic calculations and potentially averting conflicts before they begin. The potential of laser weapons to neutralize hypersonic threats represents a pivotal shift in defense tactics, offering a glimpse into the future of warfare where speed, accuracy, and technological superiority dictate the terms of engagement. Laser weapons with their capacity to deliver focused energy at the speed of light present a promising counter to the burgeoning threat posed by hypersonic missiles. These missiles, capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5 and performing evasive maneuvers, challenge the current paradigms of missile defense. Traditional missile defense systems, reliant on interceptive projectiles, often struggle against the sheer velocity and agility of hypersonic weapons. Herein lies the appeal of laser systems. Their ability to engage and destroy targets at the speed of light negates the advantage held by fast-moving missiles. Theoretically, a laser weapon could instantaneously reach a hypersonic missile, applying concentrated heat to a critical area and neutralizing the threat before it can fulfill its destructive potential. However, the practical application of laser weapons against hypersonic missiles faces several formidable challenges. One of the primary obstacles is the power output required to effectively neutralize a hypersonic threat. Current laser systems, while advancing rapidly, still fall short of the energy levels needed to penetrate the robust thermal protection of hypersonic missiles. These missiles are designed to withstand the extreme temperatures of high-speed flight, necessitating laser weapons of considerable power, potentially in the megawatt range, to achieve a decisive impact. 
As of now, achieving such power levels in a deployable, tactical laser system remains a significant technological hurdle. Moreover, the inherent limitations of line-of-sight engagement pose additional tactical challenges for laser weapons. Unlike conventional interceptors that can pursue their targets beyond visual range, lasers must have a direct, unobstructed path to their target. This constraint necessitates strategic positioning of laser systems, ensuring they can cover critical areas and respond swiftly to threats. However, the unpredictable flight paths of hypersonic missiles and the vast areas they can threaten complicate defense planning and the deployment of laser systems. Despite these challenges, the ongoing development and testing of laser weapons in the U.S. continue to demonstrate their potential as a countermeasure against hypersonic missiles. Advancements in laser technology, power generation, and beam control are gradually overcoming the hurdles, moving closer to a future where laser defenses can reliably protect against the fastest and most evasive threats. And there we have it, the clash of giants in the world of modern warfare technology. What's your take on the epic standoff between U.S. laser defenses and China's hypersonic missiles? Can the light outpace the missile? Or is this just a way to stir fear in China? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, show your support with a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until our next adventure, into the marvels of technology, stay sharp and stay informed.